Okay, in this video, we are going to find a definite integral by taking the limit of the Riemann sum. It's a good skill to develop. Um, so specifically, we're going to deal with quadratic as our integrand, and it's the integral from 1 to 4 of 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 dx. And let's, let's get started. So to do these, we need to find delta x, and we need to find x sub i. So delta x, in general, is b minus a over n. In our case, b is 4, a is 1, so we're going to get... Delta x is 4 minus 1 over n, which is just 3 over n. And then we need to find x sub i, which in general is a plus i delta x. a is 1, and we just found delta x is 3 over n. So x sub i is going to be 1 plus i delta x, which we can rewrite as x sub i is 1 plus 3i over n. All right, once we know those things, we can pretty much just get started. So it's our definite integral. So definite integral is going to be the limit as n approaches infinity of the sum of all the rectangles that we're going to make. So the rectangles are going to be base times height. The base is delta x. The height is f of x sub i. And we're going to add up all of them from the first to the nth. So it's going to be the sum from 1 to n of f of x sub i, which is the height, times delta x, which is the width. And when we take that limit, it'll give us the value of the integral. So now we have to just do the problem. So it's going to be this. OK, so we got to deal with f of x sub i. So f of x is the integrand. So it's here, the 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. We're going to want to use a lot of parentheses on this. Um, and then x sub i is 1 plus 3i over n. So we're going to replace every x that we see in 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 with 1 plus 3i over n. It's a lot of writing. So it's going to be 2 from the formula. Um, the quantity x sub i squared, so this. And then minus 5 from the formula. The quantity x sub i. And then there's just this minus 3 that has nothing to do with x sub i. And let's close the parentheses on that. So that's f of x sub i. And then we multiply that by delta x which is 3 over n, close the summation, close the limit. All right, uh, now in the next step, I'm going to do a lot of expanding. So I need to, I'm going to still have this 2 here, and then I need to expand 1 plus 3i over n um, squared. So that's going to be 1 squared, and then multiply them together. That's 3i over n times 2 is 6i over n. And then also I need to square the last, which is 9i squared over n squared. So I'm going to write it down. I get 1, 6i over n plus 9i squared over n squared. i is not the imaginary i, so that just is i squared. Um, now I'm just going to distribute the negative 5. So I'll get minus 5 minus 15i over n. So minus 5 minus 15i over n. Um, and then that minus 3 just kind of hangs around. doesn't do anything yet. And then uh, let's close that. So that's still f of x sub i that we're messing around with. And there's still a delta x here. Close the summation. Close the limit. OK, now we want to um, do a bunch of things. We want to basically collect like terms, I guess. So let's go through. These just turn into annoying algebra problems at some point. So I'm going to distribute the 2 which goes there. So that'll give me a 2. So that's a constant. I see another constant of negative 5 and another of negative 3. So 2 minus 5 minus 3, overall negative 6. Uh, now I'm going to distribute the 2 to 6i over n. So that's 12i over n. And then I see another uh, minus 15i over n. So overall, that's minus 3i over n. And then I'm going to distribute 2 to uh, this 9i squared over n squared, which is 18. There's no, there's no other i squared, so 18i squared over n squared. Uh, let's close that. That's still f of x sub i, so it's kind of gross. And then there's still a delta x. And close the summation, close the limit. Almost done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute the delta x and also kind of factor out of the summations. So anything that doesn't involve i, I'm going to just factor out because it's all constant multiples. So we get this limit as n goes to infinity. So um, for my first one, I distribute the 3 over n. I get negative 18 over n. None of that depends on i, so I factor it out. And then I'm going to just be left with 1. 
which is a little weird, but that's probably the weirdest of them actually. Um, let's distribute the three over n to negative three i over n. So that's negative nine over n squared times i. I'm gonna take out the negative nine over n squared and it'll be the sum of just i's left over. And then if I distribute again, I get 54 over n cubed times i squared. So I'm gonna factor out the 54 over n cubed and then the sum of i squared and then close the limit, right? Because I've, I've kind of got everything else done. Okay, now it just comes down to, did you memorize the formulas? Which is sort of annoying, but you just gotta do it. Um, so it's gonna be the limit as n approaches infinity. So for the first one, it's negative 18 over n. The sum from one to n of just one is n. So that's just gonna be n. And minus nine over n squared, the sum from uh, one to n of i, so this thing, is n times n plus one over two, and then plus 54 over n cubed. The sum from one to n of i squared is, um, so it looks a lot like the sum of i. It's n, n plus one, and then you have to multiply by like another odd, so two n plus one. And then in the denominator, it's two, and then uh, the next odd is three, so two times three is six. So we're gonna get uh, n, n plus one, two n plus one, which is odd, over two times three, which is six. And that's how I have it memorized. Like I, in my mind, I just think I'm multiplying in an odd number over an odd number. Uh, it's not like totally accurate, but it's, I've, I've been successful with it. So, I mean, you might also try it. Uh, all right, let's take these limits. So the first thing, uh, Negative 18 over n times n is just negative 18, so nothing exciting there. The next two, uh, when you do this process, the degrees of the denominator and the numerator should match. So here we've got uh, a second degree. If I expand this, I get a second degree. So that limit will just be the ratio of the leading coefficients, which is negative nine over two. And then uh, for the next one, same sort of thing. So we got third degree here. We've got third degree here if I expand it. But the key thing is, when you expand that one, there's that two n plus one. So you always pick up an extra two. So really it's like we end up with uh, 108 over six instead of 54 over six. 108 over six is um, 18. So we're gonna get plus 18. And then when we simplify this, we just get negative nine halves. And then we wanna remember what we were doing. So what we were doing is this definite integral, which overall, turns out to be negative nine halves. All right, so that's another example of taking the limit of a Riemann sum to get a definite integral. Um, it's really useful. And uh, to be honest, more of what you do is you look at the, the setup and then you try to decide what the definite integral was based on the setup that you're given. Um, but I think it's useful to go in this direction first to just kind of get good at it. So I hope you found this helpful and good luck.